So a few years ago, I made a video comparing the differences between Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator, but a lot has changed since then. Inkscape has grown by leaps and bounds, and Illustrator continues raising the bar with new features and AI integration, so I figured now would be a great time for an updated comparison. Now that last video was mostly a technical comparison, so for this one, I'd rather do more of a practical overview for those of you who may be new users and just want a quick rundown of these two applications. So getting started, the main difference between Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator is that Illustrator is the industry standard vector design app with the most advanced tools and features, whereas Inkscape is a free and open source alternative that, despite being free, is still an advanced design tool that can be used professionally. That said, each of these applications have their own pros and cons, so let's take a closer look at each of them. So let's go over some of the advantages of using Inkscape. The most obvious benefit is that it's free, and I don't mean freemium or free to try, it's just free. It's an open source application that's made by a team of passionate volunteers, and it's been around for over 20 years. Illustrator, on the other hand, is not free. It's a subscription service that will cost you, at the time of this video anyway, $22.99 USD per month. Another benefit of being an Inkscape user is that it's compatible with more devices. Not only does it have fewer hardware requirements, but it's also available on Linux operating systems as well. Illustrator can only be used on Windows or Mac devices. It's more demanding in terms of hardware requirements, and it also requires that you download their Creative Cloud Launcher application to use it, which runs in the background at all times in Hogs system resources, even when you're not using Illustrator. Inkscape also doesn't spy on you. There's no data being collected from you at any point, whereas Illustrator is owned by Adobe and they do very much collect data on you. And finally, I'll give Inkscape some bonus points for being more customizable. Inkscape lets you create your own themes, color palettes, and icon styles. Now let's have a look at some of the advantages of using Adobe Illustrator. The first of which being just how capable it is. If you have the hardware and the budget for it, Illustrator is by far the most advanced vector design tool there is. It has features that you just won't see anywhere else. A good example of this would be the 3D Inflate tool, which I used when creating the thumbnail of this video. Or the mapping feature, which can be used to wrap objects around three-dimensional shapes. Adobe even introduced AI-generated prompts to Illustrator last year, and although it has a ways to go, you can only assume it'll get better over time. Another benefit of using Illustrator is that it's easier to work with templates and other vector assets that you may download from the web. The fact is, most of these templates were made in Illustrator, and they often use Illustrator-specific traits that Inkscape can't interpret. So Inkscape often has trouble opening them, whereas in Illustrator, they work just fine. And bonus points if you're already an Adobe user, because Illustrator should fit nicely into your workflow. You can take vector assets that you created in Illustrator and use them in Premiere Pro or After Effects. And for what it's worth, Inkscape vectors will work too, but Inkscape often has its own issues when working cross-platform. Let's address some common questions regarding Inkscape and Illustrator. The most common one I get is, can Inkscape be used professionally? And the answer is yes. Inkscape is fully featured and has everything you need to create vector artwork at a professional level. The only real limitation is the lack of CMYK output, so Inkscape probably wouldn't be the ideal choice when preparing something for print. Another common question would be, what can Illustrator do that Inkscape can't? And truthfully, there's a lot of things both big and small, but some of the more significant features include the 3D tools and advanced warp transformations. On the flip side, you may be wondering if there's anything Inkscape can do that Illustrator can't. And yes, there are many things that Inkscape does better than Illustrator. In fact, I made an entire video about that, so be sure to check that out next. And if you want to learn more about Inkscape, be sure to check out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 80 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me whenever you need it. Best of all, it's only a one-time cost of $17 and you're in for life. There's no yearly fees or monthly memberships after that. I'll have some information about that below if you want to check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.